This tutorial is brought to you by linuxandfriends.com. Easy Stroke is a gesture recognition application for Linux. Gestures or strokes are movements that you make with your mouse while holding down a specific mouse button. By default, it is the middle mouse button, but you can change it from the preferences tab. You can change the gesture button, which is the middle mouse button, button 2. You can change it here. You can add additional buttons, edit or remove any existing buttons. So back to the actions tab. Here I will show you how to associate mouse gestures with specific actions in Easy Stroke. As an example, let us associate a mouse gesture with opening of a new tab. Usually for opening a new tab, the key combination or the shortcut that we use is Ctrl T. So step 1. Let us first add an action. When you click the add action button, it will add a row in the top here. And the first thing you have to do is give a name for the gesture. Now let us name it new tab and press enter when you press enter it will go to the next column which gives the type where you have to select the type here we select key there are all around seven types available command key text scroll ignore button miscellaneous and so on here we use key once you have selected the type it go we have to press the key combination in our case it is control T control T you press it on the keyboard now the last act last step involves recording the stroke for that you click on the record stroke button when you click the record stroke button it will open a dialog box and prompt you to associate a stroke or gesture with that particular key combination now here I press the middle mouse button and draw the stroke anywhere on the screen. Alright, this is the stroke that is associated with the uh, control plus T key combination. So uh, in any application if you press the middle mouse button or the gesture button and draw the stroke it is equivalent to pressing the control plus T keystroke and a new tab will be opened in that application. Now let us add a few more actions. So we are going to add an action for closing a tab which is also a key combination which is control W. Now we record the stroke for that particular action. I press the middle mouse button and there you have it. Another action has been added. Now again add action. Next tab we press the key combination. The key combination is control tab. Now we record the stroke for that particular action. Record. There you have it. And lastly we add another action for the previous tab. Moving to the previous tab. Add action. and press the uh, select the key type and the key combination is control shift tab now you record the stroke for that particular gesture there you have it so i have added three more 
actions and associated mouse gestures for those actions. Now let us try out the newly recorded gestures of Easy Stroke. Here I have Firefox loaded in Ubuntu Linux with a few websites or web pages preloaded so that we can uh, waste stop wasting time. So first thing I want to move from one tab to the other. Let us try the gesture for that. There you have it. I am moving from one tab to the next. Now I can move to the previous tab, go to the next tab, again move to the previous tab. It is so easy. You just have to use the appropriate mouse gesture. Now let us say I want to close this tab. I use that particular mouse gesture. So I have closed the Google News web page. Now I want to close this particular tab. There you have it. I have closed that too. Now I want to start a new tab. I started a new tab. Now I wish to close it. So it is so simple. Once you have recorded the gestures in Easy Stroke, you can use it in any application which supports those gestures for that particular key combination. This tutorial of Easy Stroke is brought to you by linuxandfriends.com. For more such tutorials, reviews and how-to articles on Linux and a whole lot of other, other topics, please visit linuxandfriends.com. Thank you very much.